Hi, I'm your host, Dee Dee Che. Audio Builders TV presents Effects Pedals with Adam Brilla. Adam has over 1,000 pedals in his collection. Through his business, Stompbox Sonic, Adam offers personal consultations to help his customers navigate all those switches and blinking lights so they can bring their music to life. Audio Builders TV is produced by the students of Conquer Carlisle High School with help from Colonial Sound and CCTV. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and subscribe to our mailing list at audiobuildersworkshop.com. <laughs> Audio Builders. Audio Builders Workshop is a work group for the Boston chapter of the Audio Engineering Society. Hi, my name is Adam Brilla and I'm from Stompbox Sonic here today with Audio Builders TV. And I'm going to be going through um, some effects pedals um, and looking beyond the horizon of traditional uh, effects categories and also different ways of um, thinking about interacting with the pedals. And I'm going to start off with some delay pedals here. And what's fun about this selection here is we are uh, have a number of different builders, small builders, larger builders, and each has their own unique take on delay. And you know, it's one of the oldest, most popular effects pedals. Um, basically, just repeats whatever you play, and you have control over uh, the delay time, how quickly the repeats kick in, and how many repeats there are. Uh, which is sometimes referred to as feedback. And uh, this Maxon here um, is very traditional analog delay uh, use it using bucket brigade chips um, to just produce a nice, warm, kind of gritty repeat. And um, it's very, very representative of the delay effect. You know, you have, can have a nice short delay. So that kind of rockabilly sound. Um, you can have a longer delay time to give you some more space. And the thing that I think most of us um, are drawn to delay for is the uh, UFO sound effects that you get when you have the repeats cranked up. And then you can play the, de the uh, delay time. some really interesting things and so yeah this is pretty pretty good example of a standard delay um, is a nice warm gritty sound and what's fun about a lot of the builders nowadays is they are either tackling uh, recreating um, old analog delays whether it be tape delay or uh, oil can delay um, or delay uh, effects that are no longer available. Um, and then some are using digital technology to create uh, features and options and ways of manipulating the pedal that you couldn't normally do um, or you would need a giant tape machine or uh, a, t a tape delay to do. It, to do. And um, I just really like that the personality uh, comes through, of the, of the builders comes through into the units. So it's not only a set of features, but you're getting kind of a, a, a sidekick for your musical journey. And um, so I'm going to just kind of go through these different pedals here. Um, this pedal uh, recently just got this. It's the Blast Furnace Fuzz and Delay from Fuzz Rocious. And they're based out mm. of uh, New Jersey. And it's a, uh, a literal mom and pop uh, company, husband and wife team, and uh, and they'll often get the kids involved in doing some of the artwork as well. Um, what's fun about this pedal is they've sort of stripped away options and given you a very bare bones sound, and um, the gated fuzz is just really rip roaring. Um, that had very full, <laughs> very rowdy sounding, and then will just cut unpredictably um, as the gate kicks in. Um, and then they have the echo side here, which is activated by a momentary switch. So it's only going to be on while you're holding the switch down, and you have control over the repeats here. 
So just to quickly demonstrate, um, we'll just do the fuzz real quick. And see how it just abruptly cuts? That's the gate on that. So it's a very thick, very unruly sound. I love it. Um, but again, you just have control over the volume, and then you have a, a tone select here. And then the repeats. So you can hear the, the echo there. And then it, as soon as I take my thumb off the uh, control, it's done. And you can do some fun stuff if you crank up the repeats here. You get the spaceship sound. Um, so it's what's fun about this is, um, like I said, you have fewer options. So it's really up to you to define how to use it and when to use it. Um, you know, it's their personal preference, and they make it available to you. Um, so there's something kind of fun about that. It's like having a, you know, writing a haiku or a sonnet where you um, you have to work within the parameters of what the pedal does and find the applications for it. Um, again, we had the Maxon pedal here. This is a company that's been around uh, for many years. Um, you may be familiar with the Tube Screamer uh, Overdrive and uh, the, the company that designed that. And um, so this is one of their newer delays um, based on you know, their old circuits. Um, just a very pleasing, warm sound. Doesn't have a ton of features, but again, it just, it's all about that sound. And I love how it just always wanting to kind of go into that feedback mode. Um, so I just like that cushion that it gives you of, of that percolating sound in the background. Um, moving on to this guy, the Black Fountain from Old Blood Noise Endeavors. And this is an example of um, a builder being fascinated with a particular type of delay, the kind of obscure, hard to come by. Um, in the 60s, they used to have these, uh, these units that had a small little drum filled with an oily liquid. Um, and they were a uh, very unique sound, very particular sound, um, limited control options, and they were kind of a pain to uh, maintain and repair. So it's nice to have it in a nice pedal board friendly. Um, enclosure and not have to deal with a mysterious liquid um, and sourcing more of it <laughs> to replenish to get the delay sound. So um, let's just play a little bit of this guy. And this has a very interesting sound where it rolls off the high ends on the repeats. So you have this really dark sound and this sort of co almost chorusy like modulation or warble. Um, it's a very specific sound, um, and again, it, it may or may not suit what you're doing, but it's just, uh, it's cool that someone's um, going for that very specific niche sound. And you have different modes here, um, which will increase or decrease the delay time and, and uh, sort of just the response of the repeats. And I just love how they did a great job making it sound true to the original physical device um, that it's, it has this very nice analog um, warm feel to it even though it's a digital pedal.
like as you go through the different delays, each has its own character and own, own um, sound characteristics. And there may be some similarities, but each, each definitely has its own little flavor. Yeah. Um, now going to uh, the Pigtronics Evolution Squared. Um, now this is sort of taking digital technology and going very much into the future. Um, whereas these are kind of going more for a traditional sound, a vintage sound. Um, this really lets you sculpt and create sounds that, uh, you know, maybe even have uh, some uh, synth-like capabilities yeah. or sounds. And um, just play a little bit here. So you have control over a number of different features. Um, you have a tap tempo here. You can change the, the speed of the repeats on the fly. You can also change up the, the rhythmic uh, subdivisions of the repeats. And you can add a number of different filter options on the repeats. So you can essentially put effects on the trail of the repeats. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, you have a lot of control just on this front panel. Uh, but there's also several banks full of presets. So you can um, definitely have fun exploring what uh, the company has created for you. And they really go to a whole nother level by um, there's a USB port on the front here, and they do regular firmware updates. So not only does it expand the features of what the pedal can do, um, there's new sounds. Um, you know, maybe they clean up some noise or clock issues, mm -hmm. but it's always improving. Mm -hmm. And um, it has MIDI capability, which is a whole another realm you can get into where you can have um, your pedals talk to one another. You could have a drum machine or a keyboard or a recording or a computer software uh, change the settings on the pedal for you while you're playing. So you don't need to do it. It's all being controlled by something else. So yeah, a lot of fun and a lot of control and a lot of ways to manipulate sound. And uh, let's play around with this guy a little bit more. So it's really just letting you manipulate sound and take delay into a totally different direction. some fun here. So here's an example of the rhythmic delay. And again, you can take the preset, but you can make it your own. So this is just an example of, of uh, an effect that gives you unlimited control and a lot of different ways of controlling it. And then uh, jumping on over here to the uh, C-Sidman or the Discman uh, from Cattle and Bread. Um, this is an example of you relinquishing some control and letting the pedal decide when it's going to do something. And so the idea behind this pedal was they, uh, they wanted to kind of capture the unpredictability and randomness of a skipping CD or uh, if, you, if you used to have a, um, 
when I was a teenager, I had a, my little disc man portable CD player connected to the car stereo through the tape adapter. And if you hit a pothole in the winter, <laughs> the CD would skip. And it could be very frustrating. You know, you want to listen to your favorite song, and all of a sudden, um, it's, it's you know, jumps or stutters and uh, kind of ruins the, the epic car ride. Um, but they took that idea and they said, wouldn't it be cool if we could add that to, you know, make it into effect that sounded cool and um, sort of take ownership of that thing that had been considered, um, you know, a, f a frustrating limitation of technology. And, um, and as I play, you know, you'll hear that it starts to glitch and do weird things, but it's never really repeated. It'll, it kind of doesn't follow a specific pattern. But what I also really like is it has a very clean delay, so it's not adding any grit or noise. Um, and these little glitches and anomalies can be very pleasing and soothing in a way. Though they can get out of control. <laughs> favorite features about this is you can set the probability that it will start to glitch and how much of the delay signal it's going to choose from um, to pull from that it may do something weird with. So again, it, um, it's not recommended for someone who likes things to be very pre predictable and repeatable, um, but if you like a little bit of chaos and randomness in your music making, um, it's definitely a fun pedal. Um, moving over to the Red Panda, uh, the Raster. This is another digital delay um, that lets you um, have uh, a pitch shifter on the delay repeats. So you can get some pretty cool um, effects. And um, it's kind of like having the Digitech Whammy pedal, um, but only on the repeated signal and uh, we'll just mess around a little bit with this and you can use it as a traditional delay um, and I like that it has this really long delay time and it won't necessarily feed back and get too chaotic if you don't want it to so you can just create this nice bed of sound But as you manipulate it, you can start to bring out some glitchy robotic elements. So it becomes more um, adds more textural elements. Now if we kick in the pitch shifter, and it'll shift up or down. about pedals like this is you sort of have to learn what it does and it forces you to be creative on its own terms rather than um, you know it 
it is very repeatable. You can get the results each time once you familiarize yourself with the settings. Um, but there is a sort of abstract quality to it. Um, Makes them very, you know, some would consider non musical sounds, but I think they're pretty cool and um, can definitely help get you out of a rut if you tend to play um, in a lot of the same ways or same patterns. Then moving on to the TC Electronics Flashback. Um, this is a fun delay. It's got a number of uh, cool features. Um, it has a few different delay types and has the settings for rhythmic delay. Um, so you can do different rhythmic patterns. I'm particularly fond of the reverse feature. <laughs> fan of Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles, um, finding a delay or a pedal that would get you that backwards guitar sound was definitely something that I'd always been on the lookout for. And, um, What's cool about this pedal is it has stereo ins and outs, so you can do uh, some interesting uh, stuff by sending the signal to two different amps. It has this ping pong effect, so as you would play, um, you know, what you play goes to one amp, and then the repeats go to the other, and it bounces back and forth. So you can definitely uh, really expand your sound and get some um, some really interesting sounds and kind of dominate space in a in a in a whole new way. Um. Anyway, that's a, just a quick tour of some, some different uh, delays that are out there and uh, you know, some, some ways of interacting with the pedals. And um, you know, hopefully you'll uh, find some inspiration and have fun interacting um, and exploring the pedals and controls. Um, and again, this is Adam from Stompboxonic, and you're watching Audio Builders Workshop. Thank you very much.